potato. Hmm, maybe we should make some lockers. You guys want to make lockers? Hey, did someone say lockers? I want to make lockers. Ooh, I'd like to make lockers too. Let's, Let's make, make lockers. You need to add an onion to your pan, but cut. Then we need two cups of oil. Will you need two to pour us some oil? Okay, I'll pour you some oil. Here we go. Two cups. Here, pour, hold it over. Here's one cup. Go. Pour it in. Oh, that's good oil. Let's right, do one another cup. Hold it over. Okay. Let's fire it up. Here we go. Fire. And let it get really hot. We're going to let this get hot for about uh, five minutes right now. We're going to get it really hot. Then, wash your potato really well. Wash your potato. Wash your potato. Wash your Then you have your onions and your potatoes. You're going to slice them up, add them to your food processor. Once they're out of the processor, you're going to put them in the bowl. Then sprinkle over your salt. Yeah, sprinkle it all over. Mix it in a little bit too. We're gonna mix it in so the salt starts creating like a uh, a liquid here. You're gonna see it's gonna because the liquid's gonna all come out. It's gonna be very delicious. You want that liquid. So now we're gonna leave this alone for five minutes and let this uh, render some liquid. Look at the onion. Look how good they're getting. Mm -mm. So the oil is getting really flavorful because these onions are just sitting in here adding onion flavor, which we know we all like. So. Wait. Okay, so at this point, we have our potatoes and onion mixture with the salt on it, and it's rendering out water. And I can see that a lot of water is coming out. Now we got a couple more minutes. My oil is on low, and the onions have really kind of uh, cooked a little bit and gotten their flavor. But what I don't want to do is make them all fall apart and get all over the uh, pan. Ooh, sounds good, right? Because that's going to make. Uh, the onions stick to the latkes. You want to kind of like nestle the onions up in the corner of the pan. I'll show you here. And you're cooking your latkes, and that way you have a little room for latkes. Next, we're gonna add two eggs to our. Two eggs. What? Okay. And uh, then we're going to add two cups of flour. I'm going to let Ella do this. Flour, flour, flour. Right? Is that what it says in the recipe? Two cups. All right, uh, here you go. Here's one cup. Hello. Put that in. And one more. Hold on. Okay. Put that one in. Okay. So now I'm going to mix this. I'm going to mix this over here because we're going to try to not... Mess up, and I didn't add any water to this at all. And so, what we're doing here is I'm mixing in everything. I have the eggs, and you know what? It is best to use your hands with this. Uh, wear gloves if you're not making it for your immediate household. And I'm just going to mush this all together. This is the fun part. Ooh. Okay, so you always want to have a tester to test your lockers. The locker tester in our house is Ella, and backup tester is Mommy. Mommy, come on over here. She's gonna tell us which latke, if the first latke is good. So never throw a lot of latkes in all at once. We're gonna see if they're good. So I need my critics here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a latke here, about this big, I'm gonna flatten it, I'm gonna drop it in my oil. And this is my test latke. So I'm gonna go about three minutes, three to four minutes on each side. And the thing is, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the thing is, you could add or take away to this recipe I gave you. Right now, if it's too salty, add a little potato. If it's not salty enough, add a little salt. I think this is really good. Actually, I tried to test laka before, and this is actually a very good laka. So the way recipe friendly, this is a very good recipe in my opinion. Mmm. You will enjoy them soon. Make sure you have a plate with paper towels on it, so you can put your laka on top of it. Okay, so. 
I tested the latke. It was delicious. Uh, now I'm going to put about five latkes in my oil with the uh, onions. Here we go. You can see what's going on here. I could have put six or seven maybe, but you know what? I'm not going to go crazy right now. I'm not making too many of them too fast. And you could save this mixture in the freezer. You can make little lock pre-frozen latkes and you can cook them after. You just uh, defrost them a little bit first. And these are looking nice. I'd say like three and a half minutes. It depends on your pan. But uh, these are going well. Here, take a look. Is cooking in here and I just flipped them over you can take a look at kind of where I flipped them they're still gonna cook a little bit more uh, on the side that I that they were cooking on a little bit because there's a decent amount of oil but the oils about coming right over to right almost up to the top but not over the lockers that's kind of how I like to do it also a little technique I like to do is I like to turn the lockers you never want to keep them in one spot so I just like give them a little halfway turn each one Make sure they're evenly cooked. And everyone has their own crispy factor that they like. I like them a little more on the less crispy side. Some people like them really crispy. So I kind of kind of make them in the middle. And you could always re-crisp them a little bit and make sure the oil's really hot. You can put them in the oven and get them a little bit crispier as well. And this is how things are looking. I'd say these probably have about another 40 seconds left before I'm gonna take them off. I'm just gonna leave those onions in there. Mm. Okay, well, I think these latkes are ready to come out of the oil. I have my uh, pan that Ella, or sorry, the plate that Ella got for me with the paper towels on it. And I'm gonna keep the oil hot. When I take the latkes out, if I wanna make more latkes, I'll turn down the heat until I'm ready to put the latkes in. But here are my delicious latkes. They're looking pretty nice. I'm gonna put them on the plate here. Careful with your paper towel. Okay, wow, these are looking delish. Mmm. And I also will like toss them over to get some of the oil off of them. Because if they're nice and hot, they actually won't be that oily. Here's kind of a, a look at them. Mmm. Okay, so I'm going to get another load in here right now. I'm going to lower my oil. Get my hands a little wet. Not too wet because you don't want to drip your hands in there. I'm going to take my little pancakes, put them together, gently drop them in. Little pancake together, gently drop it in. Little pancake, put it together, gently drop it in. You might have to re-wet your hands a little bit so they don't stick because it's very starchy. And you can make them thinner if you want them really crispy. You can make them whoop, thicker, more like a hush puppy. Uh, it's really up to you. You can put your little twist on this. You could add a little, I don't know, spice to it if you want to put like a... Uh, Something spicy, a spicy laka. Never hurt anybody. And I'm gonna let these guys cook in here. Thank you for joining me. Um, have a wonderful Hanukkah. I'm gonna get my hands clean, and I'm gonna. We're gonna do the taste test right now with Mrs. Raderman and Ella. So please stand by. We'll see how they are. Tell your mouth. So, ladies, are they any good? Mm, that is delicious. Well, enjoy. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Happy Hanukkah.